mango. Wow! That's bigger than I thought! It has to be big. It was built by Gustave Eiffel as the gateway entrance to the 1889 World's Fair. Where's Mango? Uh-oh. Monkey photobomb. What? There's a monkey in my picture. I'm so sorry. Mango's a monkey photo hog. You look good. Hi, I'm Annie. This is Ben. And you've already met Mango. I'm Justine. I didn't mean to shout at your monkey. <sighs> My grandmother lives in the United States and she misses Paris. So I want the perfect picture to send to her. Mango! My camera! Give Justine back her camera! Mango! Come down here! Quickly, the elevator! The longest stairway I've ever been on in my life. And this is just the first floor. Wow, a glass floor. Look how far up we are. We, oui. and the eyes also an ice rink. No way! So cold. He's climbing high air. Not again. To the stairs. Encore. Encore is French for again. Encore. That was a lot faster than the first floor. This is the main viewing area for the Eiffel Tower. Telescopes! We can find your monkey with this. If we have change. I'm a dog. Don't look at me. Voila! Voila is French for there. Or in this case, here we go. Where are you, Mango? I know you're out there, you monkey maniac. <coughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, you think you're a funny monkey? Well, we'll see who lasts last. To the elevator! Encore! We made it! Is that a restaurant? Oui, it's the Jews Verne restaurant. Very good food. Jules Verne was a French writer. He wrote 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. The submarine story you read to me? Yeah. So he writes and cooks. <laughs> no. He passed away a century ago, but everyone loves his story so much, they name the restaurant after him. There he is! <laughs> He's taking our photo. Then let's pose. There he goes! Yeah, but we're ahead of him this time. It's a race to the top. Mm. 
You should never take someone's camera without asking. What beautiful pictures. Wow! Only a monkey on the Eiffel Tower could get those pictures. My grandmama will love these. Mango, you planned this. Merci beaucoup, Mango. Merci beaucoup means thank you very much. Come. Let us have lunch and I will email the pictures to my grandmama. Yeah, I'm starving. Voila, grandmama has her pictures. But this picture is just for us. A souvenir of our day at the Eiffel Tower. Souvenir is a French word that means to remember. That's not the only souvenir I'm taking with me. I've got a frozen belly from the ice rink and sore paws from the stairs. Thanks, Mango. <laughs> Mango, he's a funny monkey. <laughs> the monkey is the clown. All aboard! <laughs> we just made it! It would have been real bad if we missed this train, guys. Why's that, Annie? Because this is Russia's Trans-Siberian Railway. They started building it over 125 years ago, and now it's the longest train ride in the world. This line is 9,289 kilometers. That is 5,753 miles. It connects Moscow to Vladivostok on the Pacific Ocean. Also Mongolia, China, and Korea. Uh, thank you? Where did he come from? I didn't even hear him. Bye! Yeah, Mango thinks he's a spy, like in an old movie. I think Mango's right. Come on, he's my age. You're thinking like that because you guys watch too many of those spy movies. Don't let your imaginations run away with you. I agree. We'll keep an eye on him. Excuse me, do you mind if I share your table? Not at all. Be my guest. Thank you. I'm Annie. I am Eagle. You're right. Igor is a spy name. You sure know a lot about the Trans-Siberian Railway. I am on this train every three months when I visit my grandmother in Vladivostok. Did you write all that down, Mango? I only speak, Monkey. I can't read it. Excuse me. Mango wants to know if you're going to eat that banana. The countryside is beautiful. Siberia is beautiful, but very cold in winter. Do you have any fours? Go fish. I like your hat, Igor. Where did you get it? It was a gift from my grandmother. Now, I have a question for you. Okay, what do you want to know? Why are you talking monkey doing that? They're playing spy train. They watch a lot of old spy movies. So does my grandmother. That is why she gave me this hat. Do you have any eights? Ooh, that is a huge lake. And so beautiful. It is Lake Baikal. It is the oldest lake in the entire world. Thanks for the information, Igor. It is also the largest freshwater lake in the world. That's amazing, Igor. Michael is home to more than 1,700 species of plants and animals, two-thirds of which can be found nowhere else in the world. Wow! 
Igor sure knows a lot about Russia and Siberia. Yeah, he knows how to scare monkeys, too. <laughs> you guys are taking this spy game way too seriously. We've never been on a train that stopped for a picnic. This food is delicious. That is kasha, traditional Russian porridge. My grandmother makes better. What does traditional mean, Annie? That means the people have been doing it a long, long time, Ben. Oh, I get it. Like, eating is traditional with me. Woof. <laughs> sure, I can sniff Igor's bag. <laughs> if Igor's got spy secrets in his bag, then spy secrets smell like fish. <laughs> Hello, Annie. Hi, Igor. Could you tell Ben and Mango it's time for bed? Ben. Mango. Bedtime. Okie doke. Good night, Igor. We'll spy on you in the morning. Bye. Sleep well, everyone. Thanks, Igor. You are welcome. End of the line. We're in Vladivostok. Wow! All the way from Moscow to the Pacific Ocean on one train! All packed! Hey, where's Mango? Don't you have him? Oh my gosh! We have to find him before the train leaves! I'll bet Igor has him! Igor has who? I'll check the closet! Mango's missing, and Ben thinks he's hiding in your closet! Well, he has been there before. Nope, no mango. I hope you find him. But before you go, I have something for you. Mango, what were you doing in there? He was playing spy. I think we can stop playing that game now. Oof. So that's what smelled like fish. It is caviar. Fish eggs from sturgeons in the Caspian Sea. My grandmother loves it. Russian caviar is the best in the world and is as valuable as gold. That is why I always keep my bag close. And I have a gift for you, Annie. So you remember your trick. A matryoshka. A matryoshka? It's beautiful. Thank you so much, Igor. These are very special. Matryoshkas are dolls inside of dolls. Each one is smaller than the one before. Do svidaniya, my friends. That is Russian for goodbye. Do svidaniya, Igor. Still think Igor is a spy, guys? Well, I don't think he's a spy, but there was something fishy about his bag. Get it? Caviar? Fish eggs? Something fishy? Fishy. Oh, ben, that <laughs> joke. The world's fastest monkey. <laughs> Welcome to the Bonneville Salt Flats. What other monkey but Mango would want to visit the Bonneville Salt Flats for his birthday? Well, Mango loves cars, and these are the fastest cars on Earth. Mango feels sorry for his Mango-mobile. It can't go as fast as these cars. Well, the Bonneville Salt Flats is for one thing only. To see how fast a car can go. In October of 1997, the Thrust supersonic car was the first car to go faster than sound. That's over 760 miles per hour or 1,225 kilometers per hour. It went so fast, it created a sonic boom. Mango wants to know, what's a sonic boom? Sound can only go 760 miles per hour. When a plane or car goes faster than that, it breaks through the sound like sound is a solid wall 
and breaking the sound wall makes a loud boom. Okay, Mango wants to break the sound barrier. <laughs> I can see that, but I don't think the Mango Mobile can go that fast. Hey, it's Alan the Alien! Wow, Alan came all the way from outer space to give you a birthday present. Alan's such a good friend. Yeah, he's out of this world. Get it? Alan's an alien, so he's out of this world. <laughs> Bad joke, Ben. Ooh, what did Alan give you, Mango? I want to see. A rocket engine? What are you going to do with a rocket engine, Mango? Boom! <laughs> Please welcome Mango and the Mango Mobile. Mango wants to become the world's fastest monkey. Mango, I really don't think taping the rocket engine to the Mango Mobile is a very good idea. I think Annie's right. Blast off! Uh oh. That cannot be good. <laughs> Wow, Mango really wants to make this work. Yeah, but that's nothing compared to the work it took to build this place. How long did it take? And how many salt shakers did they have to empty? Oh, Ben, this wasn't made by people. It was made by nature. This was once a huge salt lake. Six times saltier than the ocean. Then the water dried up and left a perfectly flat layer of salt. In 1912, they discovered this was a great place to see how fast cars can go. Once again, hoping to become the world's fastest monkey, Mango! Go, go Mango! mango! <laughs> Annie, why are Mango's wheels getting bigger? Uh, because when you go that fast, tires get hot. And when they get hot, the air inside makes them blow up like... Balloons! He's heading for outer space! Danger! Danger! Save the monkey! Oh, thank goodness Alan put a parachute in the rocket! He sure knows Mango! Solid rubber tires. No air inside. What could go wrong this time? It's Mango. Don't ask. Okay, Mango. This is it. You can do this. You will be the world's fastest monkey. Oh, yeah. The last one of the day is Mango. Good luck, little monkey. Go, go Mango, Mango, go! go! Wow! Look at him go! And his car isn't doing anything weird! He broke the sound barrier! Woof, woof, woof! He's the world's fastest monkey! Ah, ah! Good 
Congratulations to Mango, the world's fastest monkey! Wow, that trophy is a great souvenir! And here's the perfect ending to a perfect day. Birthday cake! And I've got one more gift for you. Uh-huh. Why are you giving Mango glue, Ben? Well, he broke the sound barrier. I thought he might want to glue it back together. Get it? Broke? Glue? <laughs> <laughs> Bad job, Ben. Bananas at the ice hotel. All I see is white. Don't worry, Ben. We're almost there. But where's there? There is here. The ice hotel. Oh! It's like the biggest snow fort ever. Except it's not snow. The whole place is carved out of ice. There are more ice hotels in the Lapland region of Scandinavia than anywhere else in the world. Even the desk bell is made of ice! Welcome to the ice hotel. I'm Sven, and you are? I'm Annie, and this is Ben and Mango. Wow, you're my age, and you're running a hotel? Well, that wasn't my plan. My parents and staff went to get supplies in the town. But an avalanche blocked the road back. They can't return until the road is cleared, and that will be tomorrow. And there are a lot of hungry guests who want room service, and because of the avalanche, the only food we have in the kitchen is bananas. We can help! Hmm? We can? How? Take us to your kitchen. A monkey shape? I don't know about this. Ah. Oh, I've never had cold banana soup before. It's good. Mango knows a thousand banana recipes. All of them are great because... Who, who doesn't, doesn't like, like bananas? bananas? I don't know anyone who doesn't like bananas. This could work. Room service? Yes, our special tonight is banana soup. The bingos in room 517 want two bowls of banana soup. <laughs> Do I have to say it? The soup's on me! <laughs> oh, Ben, oh, that's bad joke. Terrible snow. Stop. <laughs> room service? Try to face her. A large banana soup for Mr. Sticky Goo in room 420. <coughs> room service? You want 10 bowls of banana soup? We'll have it after you right away. Mango? <coughs> Careful with that. The floor is made of ice too, you know. <coughs> wow! They really like that soup! Wait until I tell them... <coughs> Mango? I'll stop you, Mango! Mr. Sticky Goo sure liked that soup. I've never seen anyone eat so... <coughs> Mango? Ben? He's out of control! Woof, woof. Help me stop him! I'm right behind you! The bananas saved us! And they're all pre-smushed for the soup! Thank goodness you're back! All the guests heard about the banana soup, and now everyone wants it! Wow! 
You're a great chef! But what are we going to do about all those orders? There's only four of us! We're in Sweden! Why not have a smorgasbord? Huh? What's a smorgasbord? It's a Swedish buffet! We put everything on a big table so everyone can serve themselves! Do we have a table big enough for all the food? We will in a minute! Remember, I'm an ice sculptor! This will hold a huge smorgasbord! This will work! Welcome guests to the Ice Hotel's magnificent banana buffet on ice! What a fantastic oh, table! I heard about what a beautiful carved out of ice! Our first course... The soup oh, is exactly. delicious! Exactly what I expected from a monkey. Ooh, it's delightful! Oh, lovely! Mango's eye! Hit! Time for the second course! Let's dazzle them, Ben! A second course, banana dogs. Ready, Ben? Let's spin and win, Annie. Ooh, I love these. I'm gonna yelp about. Are you ready for the big finale? Dessert. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ice Hotel proudly presents dessert. Ready, Chef? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Banana splits for everyone! Hooray! <laughs> this snowflake is for you. No two snowflakes are alike. They are all one of a kind, just like you, Mango. Mango! We had a great time, Sven. Yeah! Mango made the whole place go bananas! Oh, Ben. Oh, that's <laughs> terrible. Oh. <gasps>